Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I just wanna come on here and tell you guys that I got the job. So I'm gonna be working in my dream unit, which is the NICU. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. It's such an amazing opportunity. So I just wanna start from the beginning and um, kinda of share my application process and all of that. So I found this job listing and I sent it to myself November 8th. So I applied around 10 30 p.m on november 10th and then the next morning november 11th i heard back at 8 23 a.m so it was an interview request the email basically said she wants to offer an interview for the position in the nicu and this position is a patient care tech associate or for shorter terms a pct i had the interview at one i'm just going to go over some of the questions asked in the interview there was a lot I didn't write all of them down because I like trying to multitask like write them down and then think about the answer and answer them at the same time would have been too much for me so so she asked about my strengths and weaknesses she asked what skills I bring to the table give her an example of a time I was in a stressful situation and like how did I respond to it or react and let's see what else she asked why the NICU so she kind of just explained like how they have a robust NICU team and basic roles include stocking like helping gather equipment restocking helping feed helping family support help move patients and like get the room ready she said it's mainly like a task oriented job rather than I think rather than like patient but um I haven't started yet so I can't really say like what I do yet because I start next week and so like towards the end of the interview she basically said I'm gonna be honest I'm interesting and in extending an offer for the job and once I heard that I was like so does that mean I got the job the experience that I'm gonna gain from this is gonna be tremendous and I think it's really gonna help me for once I become a NICU nurse because that is my end goal once I finish nursing school and pass the NCLEX so she just said like I'm gonna receive emails about like employee verification and or employment verification like if I'm eligible to work and other things and then she said I should know something soon I got the offer on November 14th so three days after the interview and that basically just said what the offer was the salary the start date and that the offer is contingent based upon reference verification so once I got that email I was like oh, this is so amazing like this is gonna help me build the foundation for once I become a NICU nurse and kind of just see what it's like to work in the NICU because like I said, I have no experience. So this is really gonna benefit me. And they just, I got a lot of emails regarding like what I have to do before I start and just filling out like an I-9 form and scheduling appointments. And then they sent me this one email because they attached like the file to the email. And it's basically like a resource guide and so I printed it and I laminated it so I have it kind of looks like that and just like it's really going to be helpful so like vital signs for the babies because that's different from adults and just like a really like guide to help it is a teaching hospital and it's one of the like a top ranked hospital for the state I live in to say the least because I'm not giving out <laughs> much information <laughs> um I feel like the interview went really well I feel like I was repetitive with some things just to like reiterate and reinforce my vision and like my goals of working in the NICU and how it's going to benefit me um because it's rewarding so things that I asked I asked what is the patient care tech to patient ratio? And so she said, usually there's like one to two techs for the unit since it's more like task oriented or task focused. I just asked like how many days per week am I required to work because on the application, 
thing it said it's 30 hours per week 12 hour shift nights and then she said the nurses are really helpful and like teaching if I'm going to assist with something like I can ask questions and they'll be willing to answer so I'm really excited to learn from the nurses and work alongside them. Yeah, she also asked, why should we hire you? Which I feel is a really popular question when it comes to jobs because they want to know what makes you stand out from all the other applicants. No matter if it's like five other applicants, 10, 20, however many they have, they want to know why they should hire you. This is messy, but I kind of wrote out some stuff before my interview. I answered the question, who are you? And then I answered why I want to work in the NICU, my strengths and weaknesses. And then I just kind of wrote over this, like all over. I had my availability just in case that they asked, which they didn't. So that's nice. And it is self-scheduled from my understanding. So I get to make my own schedule, but I am required to work two out of the four weekends of the month, which is not bad at all. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I want to bring you guys along on this journey if you're interested in anything, whether it's NICU. I just want to share everything that I can and just give you guys like an inside look of what it's like to be a patient care tech in the NICU. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do. And next week, I have my final exam for nursing school and then my first semester will be done. I'm passing and it's been amazing. The experience... Um, my classmates have been great. I love them so much. So my next video might be a vlog. My last week of nursing school and orientation on the NICU. Thank you guys for watching this video. Bye.